Tēnā koutou katoa. This is Moritz Lehmann of Starbot Maritime Intelligence. It is 10 p.m. UTC on May 11th. This is 8 a.m. in Sydney, Australia, and 10 a.m. in Aotearoa, New Zealand on May the 12th. We've not had any new satellite scans in the last 24 hours, so in this update on the Operation 18C, I will talk about the WCPFC and CCSBT registers that are key management tools for the Pacific tuna fishery. Out in the Tasman, one Japanese longliner has entered the area and is steaming southwest. Two Spanish vessels are heading northeast, uh, leaving the area here. They should be outside of our area in just uh, a few hours here. I'll measure the distance along the track. Uh, it's uh, 60 kilometers left. It'll take about 2 hours 40 minutes traveling at 12 knots. Also, the New Zealand boat, the Kim Ocean, has left the area just now. Uh, you can see by going back, it's done a brief spot of fishing up here and is now heading back out. One other New Zealand boat has entered the area. It's um, here the uh, longliner Katrina. There's some intermittent AAS signals here that we've discussed yesterday and uh, uh, interestingly if we change to showing us the fishing activity uh, we can see that this boat is not registered with the WCPFC. The WCPFC is the Western and Central Pacific Fisheries Commission. It is an intergovernmental organization with the objective to ensure the long-term conservation and sustainable use of highly migratory fish stocks in the Western and Central Pacific Ocean. That's an area covering about 20% of the Earth's surface. Registration with the WCPFC is one of the key indicators for management and control of illegal unreported and unregulated fishing activity in this area. However, for the Tasman Sea, the management of the fishery for southern bluefin tuna falls to the Commission for the Conservation of Southern Bluefin Tuna, CCSBT. Quickly searching the CCSBT record for the vessel Katrina reveals that this vessel is authorized to fish for tuna in this area. The CCSBT vessel list will be actively linked into Starboard very soon, so that registration details can be viewed immediately and used to filter vessels on the screen. Now having access to the WCPFC status in Starboard is really useful. First we can find vessels based on characteristics of the WCPFC authorizations. We can quickly show all vessels not on that register or filter by various authorizations, for example for transshipment. Clicking on a vessel that is registered brings up registration details in the analysis pane. For example, there is this Vanuatu flagged fishing vessel we've been watching entering the area a few days ago. One piece of information that is of interest to fisheries managers is the ownership structure of vessels. The WCPFC record reveals that this ship was built in China and has a master of Chinese nationality and following its track reveals little association with Vanuatu but rather port visits in Taiwan. We also provide a link to the WCPFC website. The entry on this site often has pictures of the ships and in this case the longliner is shown here certainly not in front of the Vanuatu skyline. A mismatch between flag state and master nationality is one indicator often found in vessels that are engaged in illegal unreported and unregulated fishing. Let me stress again that we're not suggesting any wrongdoing by any ship we look at under this operation. 
In particular, this ship is transponding their location by AIS for everybody to see, which is the right thing to do. Tenakotu for checking in on Operation 18C. Please get in touch with us if you have any questions or comments and follow us on Twitter and LinkedIn for updates.